URL and what you're going to want to do is create a new um, solid layer new solid and call this 3D logo yep um, uh, add a uh, shatter to this which is simulation shutter. Um, drag it onto it and just quickly change this to rendered so you don't see those annoying things. Um, actually, for the time being, just. Actually, no, it doesn't matter, just keep it like that. Um, drag in your logo comb, logo edges, texture, and side texture into your final intro and just turn off the view so you can't see them for right now uh, for the second um, go back to your 3D logo effects change the shape from bricks to custom um, and the custom shatter map to I think, yeah, logo comb um, there we go, pops on uh, um, now you can see that it like kind of just falls off the screen. So you, this is kind of like basic physics. So you want to go to the force and just make all these zero, zero, and zero, um, and go to physics uh, and under where's gravity? Gravity change this to zero so now should stay still yep um, now the final like things go on your I think it's where is it? oh no. extrusion depth there it is um, to one this gives it like a 3d look um, so when that comes onto the screen later on, you'll see that it's 3D you now. Um, go to camera, camera position. Yep. Uh, go to focal length. Yeah. This has to be the same as your original camera settings that we put at the beginning, which is 35 millimeters. That's what I did. You maybe changed it yourself, but you probably kept the same. So. Um, under the Z position, um, change it to your preferences so you can have it further away or further and you have to choose it so where you want the actual intro to end. I think that would be nice. There we go. Um, I'm going to remove that. Just hide the null. So, yep. Uh, where was that? Um, yeah, so just change the focal, the, the Z position to where you want the intro to end. Um, now go to 4 seconds. Uh, go to 4 seconds right there. Um, keyframe the Z position and all the rotations. Um, make sure you don't touch that one. Uh, um, then go back to your um, beginning of the zero seconds uh, and change the rotations. Um, maybe rotations, I don't know. If you want it just to slowly kind of move on the screen, maybe you should do 45, 45, 45, or 90, 90, 90. Um, but I'm going to do maybe. So like it kind of spins onto the screen a little bit, maybe 270, 180, and I don't know, 150. Hopefully, yeah, so it kind of does a bit of spinning, but you don't want to just to do that on the screen. So you want to then move the Z position until it's off the screen. 
So maybe minus 10. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry. Um, you can go to your 3D logo. Um, go back to your shutter under textures right there. You want to change the front layer to um, change it to um, sorry uh, un t change the, the uh, front layer to um, logo texture and then the side layer to um, obviously side texture and the back layer uh, don't bother with it um, some reason hmm. you know what's wrong with this There we go, sorry. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I messed that up. Um, you need to keep the color, you need to keep the front mode to color. Um, and obviously, the beginning, when we were doing the Z position, it was obviously a little too much, so... 0 0.1, maybe just keep it, I don't know, 0. Or... Uh, minus one. There we go. So it's just out of the screen, so it can you know nicely come onto the screen here. So there you go. You can see like little reflections that we were working on earlier. Uh, I just again sorry for that mix up. Uh, I know now there are going to be comments on the on the video complaining about that. But yeah, sorry. I apologize. Um, let's carry on with it. Um. <laughs> Under lighting, you want to change the ambient light to uh, 0.5 to make it just a little bit brighter. There we go. You can see now. Um, go back onto your logo texture. Um, create a new um, adjustment layer. And um, go on to effects and presets and go on to curves. Uh, color correction curves. Um, drag that on and just bring this little thing to there. Um, uh, take your Take your um, pen tool uh, and make kind of a nice shape around the object. Uh, whoops. Uh, create a nice shape around the object here. Make it kind of curved so it doesn't look too jagged on the edges. Uh, this needs to be on the adjustment layer, of course, like what I just did before. Um, then you want to go to the position at 4 seconds and keyframe that. Um, go to... Uh, then go back to your 0 and move it to the 
uh, bottom left of your uh, your log off. So it kind of the light moves, dr um, kind of drifts across. And um, there you have it. Your nice intro. Um, obviously, you can see the nice reflections from the fractal noise we did right here. Uh, obviously, they look really nice. They look kind of realistic, but obviously they are not because this is um, After Effects, not a 3D program. Um, so I think it quite lo looks quite nice with my logo. Um, yeah, um, now you can just, you know, quickly add some text in f right here, uh, here, um, let me, let me give it a run, uh, on the text, there we go. Um, start color, I don't know, choose your color, bam, um, maybe 40, or, no, it's too small. That looks quite nice, um, obviously, text isn't great, but like it's there, which I showed you how to make it, so, and then to make the ramp more kind of fixed more on this thing, on the actual text, you can drag these around to choose how you actually want it, um, I'm going to put it around there, um, The color isn't very good for this. Let me just keep, keep it black. Uh, you can add like a, a effect for the typewriter or something, so it comes in nice and s nicely. Um, but obviously, I only want it to come on once. This is, you know, come on, bam, and then it starts typing. Maybe not, because it's decided not to work, but, um... <laughs> Alright, because it's not long enough. It's only to start. It's, yeah. yeah, it's good like that. There we go. They all did it nicely by itself. Um, there we go. So, that's the tutorial, um... Which I showed you how to create a nice intro reflection and stuff, you can know, obviously add, you know, shadow by just duplicating this, uh, du uh, then changing the rotation to negative 90 on the x-axis um, after making this a 3D object, and then you have there, you can maybe add a fast blur, so it kind of blurs it out and give it a fill to make it look blacker, that's the word, um, so yeah, um, Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and there'll be many more um, After Effects tutorials coming up, and 